What's up guys, here the from Assassin's Club back with another forming attack. So today I have barbarians and archers in a queen walk. So some of you might think, how the heck are you supposed to get anything with barge? Unless it's a dead base, well, I shall show you some replays today. So stay tuned, I'll be back for the first attack. Alright guys, here's the first attack. So you can see my army composition, a queen walk and a bunch of archers and barbarians. My queens, I'm gonna drop my queen at the bottom. My spell competition actually wasn't correct for this. I have three heals. I don't know why I had three heals for this attack. One of my tools to heal my archers. But yeah, I usually uh, take three rage spells instead. So, you know, uh, so I can rage up my healers. Get my queen keep, uh, up so she can just destroy half the base by herself. I'm going to warn you, you guys. This is a spam kind of attack. It's like boulders where you spam. Close your eyes and you three storm. Same thing with this. I have giants in my CC. Yes, I have giants. Don't complain. That's why you have a CC. At least it's not Bolos or Valkyries. Because whenever I use Bolos or Valkyries in uh, my uh, war attacks, people complain that, oh, you're a town of nine. You're not supposed to use Valkyries. Wait. Not not Valkyries, just Bolos. Bolos, strictly Bolos. But this is forming. It doesn't matter what's in your CC. As long as, long as you have some CC, it's better than nothing. Use it to your advantage. You, the point is to get every single piece of loot as you can. And if you were paying attention to this attack, I literally just spam in my butchers, butchers. <laughs> oh my gosh, my archers and barbarians, and behind a couple of CC uh, giants, and voila, done. This base is gone. Well, I think I 98 percent this, but you get the point. I got the loot, so no worries. I got the loot. And before any of you guys go crazy, yes, my queen was level 32 in the first attack. I upgraded uh, to town on 10, but I still used, I still have town on 9 troops, and I didn't have 240 spaces. I only had 220 spaces at that time. So the only difference was my queen was level 32, which makes a little difference. But the, the point of the attack still stands true. Level 32 queen would have done the same. Anyways, for this second attack. Some of you might be like, uh, I'm not that good of an attacker. I, I don't think I can, uh, go through this entire base with just my and archers. Well, it's okay. You can add some modifications. It might be a little bit more expensive and a little bit more time. But if you add, like, eight wizards and then eight giants, you can still, you can three storm. Like, this max, max town or nine. Yes, with a queen up and some, uh, CC, just a little bit, you can three storm this max town or nine. Just a little bit more vacation. If you some of you for you newbies out there, some and then of course I have more giants in my uh, CC. You don't need boulders. I mean it'll be better. It doesn't matter what you're using your CC. I don't know why people are so uh, salty about that. Salt Bay hashtag. Anyways, but yeah, and don't be afraid to use your spells, guy. Like, trust me. Take be, don't take it for granted. Back in the days, back in the back in the old old days of Clash of Clans, two or three years ago. A rage spell would take 45 minutes to train. Now it takes like 5. To get a whole set of spells back then, it took almost over 2 hours. Now, in 20 minutes, I can get a whole set of spells. And while I'm uh, trying to look for an attack, I can keep continue training spells. So when I finish an attack, I can come right back and have another set of spells. And, like, that, the attacks are so much quicker now. You can train troops so much faster and everything. So, like... Being afraid to use a spell is crazy. Like twenty thousand elixir. It's only twenty thousand. You're attacking if you're like a really hardcore raider. It should be no issue. You get that back in like I don't know a minute. You get that like four times that much back in a minute. Like eighty thousand. It doesn't even matter. So use your spells freely. And basically, if you've been watching my attacks, I just spam in my troops regardless if I have a uh, giants and wizards. The wizards, eh, you don't really need them, but I'm just. Using it for like the people who um need that uh in, like like I don't know how to say it like they're not confident enough in the attack so we need a little bit tr more stronger troops that's why but you can do this perfectly fine with just barbarians and archers as you see by my first attack all right for my final replay I'll just show you this uh the one for the modification again since uh f for me I used this version like the eight giants and eight wizards for a long time. Sometimes, and then I noticed that I could like overkill bases because these are not uh, like uh, war bases. These are just little forming bases. So I'm, I've been noticing that I overkill all these bases all the time with so many troops left. 
So I was like, hmm, maybe I don't need the Wizards or the Giants. Maybe the Giants and the CC is just enough. So I started testing out my just using Bodge, and it worked just as fine. You don't need to three store bases. That's not the point of forming. Point of form, I don't know why this troop composition works so well, but I usually get little almost like at least eighty percent of the loot all the time. Just archers and barbarians, and like this text, I'm getting like all the loot, which is crazy. Cause I remember back then I used to use like botch and try to go in deep inside bases. I wouldn't get anywhere. I mean, the big part is the queen walk. She literally takes out the half the base by herself. So that's kind of cool. And it, I mean, it's kind of weird to see your base if someone attack me and they use barbarians and archers and a queen walk and they three store me. I'm just like, huh? People are just like what? But yes, then three store this base, but that's okay. Got all the loot I needed. Alright guys, so just get a recap on this attack. So if you're starting off using this attack, I would recommend using some giants and some wizards. But once you get used to like the flow of how like the troops work and how you like how you have to know how to use your queen walk, like she is like your your best soldier and you cannot lose her. But once you get used to all that, you can take out the giants, take out the wizards and like be in more quick with your farming. Like now, I just use barbarians and archers, and my queen walk. Oh my! I just completely destroy bases, and people. I mean, I can I can't imagine people's uh, like reaction. Like, um, I guess I need a new base. I just got wrecked by bunch. But yes, keep points of this attack. Keep your queen alive. Uh, I usually take giants in the CC since they tank for my uh, uh, archers and barbarians. But you can take bowlers. Don't forget about the haters. You can take bowlers if you want with Valkyries or anything. Don't take a lava hound. That makes no sense. Because I know some of you will be like, uh, can a lava hound work? No, it cannot work with your CC. But yes, remember guys, you might be able to 3 stone with this uh, attack, but that's not the goal. The goal is to get all the loot. And use your spells. Use your rage spells on your queen. Keep her alive. Don't hesitate on using your rage spells. Like the way I hesitate when I talk. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. This is Sirish and I'll see you guys next time.